Hey everybody, before I get underway with the very first pricing game recap for the month of November, I first want to thank NeoRox87 for filling in for me last Friday. Very appreciated. And just in case some of you did not hear J. Van Diesel, my special guest from yesterday's Halloween special when he was doing the voice of Jobby the Genie, he did Most Expensive, which was played by Maria. The prizes were a 4x4 Gordon and Grant.com wooden hot tub modeled by Marvelous Manuela, a 5-piece Jimmy Choo Ladies Accessories package modeled by Ravishing Rachel, and an Electro 3-speed Cruiser Ladies Bicycle modeled by Gorgeous Gwendolyn. Maria chose the accessories as the most expensive. Manuela revealed the price of the hot tub at 4610 Gwendolyn revealed the price of the bicycle would be six fifty, and the accessories were three thousand two sixty. So that was a loss. He also recapped Range Game, which was played by Vanessa. She played for a Moto Guzzi California Black Eagle motorcycle that was ridden by George Gray and Manuela. She froze the one hundred fifty dollar range between about thirteen thousand three thirty and thirteen thousand four eighty. Very painful loss here. The actual retail price was thirteen thousand four ninety. And finally, the last pricing game recapped by J-Van was Race Game, was played by Chad. The four prizes were a FunkySofa.com Tiffany Velvet Sofa, modeled by Manuela. A 70s-inspired retro three-piece bar set, modeled by Manuela and Rachel. Rachel and Gwendolyn modeled a 60-inch high-definition LED TV. And Gwendolyn modeled a 7.1 channel network and AV receiver theater speaker system. Um... Chad's first attempt after he placed the prices with 36 seconds remaining, he had two right. Second chance, he got one right with 28 seconds left. 12 seconds left in his third chance, he had one right. And in his fourth and final chance, he got none right. The correct prices, the sofa, 1450 2952 for the bar set, 4000 for the LED TV, and 1065 for the speaker system. And one more thing. Pee Wee Herman. That was the character I was for Halloween, as you've noticed. And I mentioned two anniversaries. Number one, this year marks the 30th anniversary of the Pee Wee Herman show from the Roxy Theater. And the second anniversary from Pee Wee Herman, this year marks the 25th anniversary of Pee Wee's Playhouse. I thank NBC 11 News Clips for informing me about J. Van Diesel's pricing games being recapped from yesterday and now I will move aside for the disclaimer And now it's time for the fabulous Price is Right pricing game recap for Tuesday, November 1st, 2011. Today's pricing games played were the following. Triple Play, Flip Flop, Shell Game, Switch, Grand Game, and That's Too Much! The first contestant was Amanda. She played Triple Play for a Chevrolet Cruze LS mall by Ravishing Rachel a Chevrolet Colorado regular cab modeled by Marvelous Benuela, and a Dodge Caliber Main Street modeled by Awesome Amber. First for the Chevy Cruze, Manuela brought out the prices of $16,210 and $19,950. Amanda believed $19,950 was the price nearest to the actual retail price, and behind that price, Drew revealed the word... Oh my god, no! And that was it! I honestly thought it was that for some reason. 16210 was the price nearest to the actual retail price, which was 16995 Shelly played flip-flop for an Ashley Furniture Group Freestyle Pewter Sectional Living Room Group along with a 70-inch sharp flat panel LED high-definition TV, 
and a Netflix subscription for one year all modeled by Manuel. Wrong price, 5643 Shelly flopped, making the price 5634 And when she pressed the button, it turned out that she was a winner! 5634 was right! She was correct to flop! Michelle played shell game for a trip to Vancouver mall by Rachel, valued at $7,500. If she was successful in getting all four shells, and find where that ball was underneath, she would win a bonus of $7,500. Manuela was modeling, well they didn't really show her modeling, but Drew mentioned Manuela's name. So, we first had heart-shaped serving bowls, priced $55. Michelle, they were, Michelle believed they were priced lower. They were lower, with $30, Manuela showed us. I believe the third shell was the first shell Michelle placed her chip. Next was a portable charcoal grill, priced $29. Michelle believed it was higher. Manuela revealed it to be higher. It was $40. She placed her next chip in front of the first shelf. Next we had a two-speed stainless steel blender, priced $75. Michelle believed it was priced lower. Manuela revealed it as... Ah! Higher! It was $100. There goes her chance of the $7,500 bonus. But she could still win the trip. We finally had a cupcake carrier priced $50. Michelle believed it was lower. Manuela revealed it to be lower, $25. So she placed her last one chip in front of the second shell. So the only shell the ball could not be underneath was the fourth shell. If it was underneath there, she would lose. Drew just revealed that fourth shell. And was the ball underneath there? Nope! She won! The third shell had the ball! Great job! And Xavier played switch for a polished aluminum desk taken from a World War II fighter plane. Very cool. Modeled by Amber. And an Apple desktop computer. Modeled by Manuela. And Xavier decided to keep the prices the way they were. Going to his mother for advice. It was her birthday. So, the desk was kept at $3,290, and the computer was kept at $2,149. And when Amber and Manuela revealed the prices, it turned out that Xavier was right to keep the prices the way they were. So, he just won both prizes that totaled $5,439. Mauricia played Grand Game for a chance to win up to $10,000. The target price was $4. She first chose the Mountain Dew flavored lip balm, something I have never seen in my entire life. If she was correct, she would go from $1 to $10. That lip balm was $1.50. She went up to $10. Next, she chose the Greenies Dog Chew. That was... $1.99 went up to $100. Next, she chose the Heinz tomato ketchup. That was priced at $2.39. She was up to $1,000. She decided not to take the th $1,000 and quit. She wanted to go on for $10,000. She chose the Cheese Whiz. I did not feel about good. I did not feel good about this at all. And the price of that Cheese Whiz for $10,000 was. <clears throat> I knew it. Four seventy nine. Actually, I thought it would be four fifty nine. She should have chose the no gray hair color. That was two ninety nine. Finally, Rosie played that's too much for a Mazda two sport, modeled by Rachel. She said the three words on the fourth price, $15,998. The audience didn't feel good about that, but for some reason, I actually felt good on this. Well, you know something? Rosie just won a brand new car! Because $15,530 was the actual retail price, revealed by Rachel. Therefore, $15,998 was just over the actual retail price! Hey, we started off the month of November on a very good start. Four pricing games won. They were flip-flops, shell games, switch, and that's too much!
Shelly, Michelle, Xavier, and Rosie are the MVPs of The Price is Right. Xavier, he had a pretty good day. He also won a showcase involving a pair of Yamaha Vino 125 motor scooters and a CU Speedster 150 Ski Boat. I love it. This week, The Price is Right Price Game Recap is sponsored by Emerald Old Fashioned Honey Roasted Peanuts. Alright, that's it for tonight, everybody. See you tomorrow!